When it comes to growing microgreens, I'm gonna share with you three of the easiest seeds to start off with. Welcome back for another video to recalibrate with Nate and thank you for joining me for another video on this playlist series. I will have the entire playlist linked in the description box below as well as the links to the plant-based bundle. The plant-based bundle is back and it is filled with over 200 different products totaling uh, about $9,000 worth if you were to buy everything individually and you're getting it all for $50. $50 and you're getting all of this, it's just incredible. Everything in there is plant-based focused. I've got my microgreens course in there as well as my dude food book and my alive book, also basically covering the benefits and, and power behind sprouts and microgreens, as well as Lissa has five of her eBooks in there as well. So eight of our products are in this bundle, totaling over $200 if you were to buy them from us, and you're getting everything over 200 different products for $50. It's like $8,800, close to $9,000 for this entire bundle. So be sure to check that out. Like I said, I'll have that linked in the description box below. It ends the 28th of November. As well as we also are running a deal on our books for Black Friday and Boxing Day, 60% off all of our products. I'll also put those linked in the description box below. All right, so let's get into this video topic. And this topic here is I'm asked, what are the easiest seeds to start off with when you're starting your microgreen journey? And this is a great question because there's so many seeds to choose from. And there's certain seeds that are really easy to grow and there's certain seeds that are a little bit trickier to grow. So my three would be peas, which we've got some peas growing right here. Peas are like the tank of all microgreens. They're very strong, very hardy, very simple to grow, and they don't have a lot of issues with mold, and the way they grow, airflow can kind of get through there, so you're, you know, you're not gonna have very many issues with growing peas. Another great one to start off with would be radish, and radish is one of the healthiest microgreens that there are. Radish is a very forgiving uh, seed as well. Germination rate is, is spectacular in so many ways. Radish is another great one to start off with. And then the third would be broccoli. I love broccoli microgreens. Again, very simple to start off with growing. They just want to grow. They just need a little bit of soil, some water, and a little bit of light. You don't need to have a vertical tower set up to start growing microgreens. You know, you can use I've got some recycled containers here and you know, just starting off with something like this is a great way to get going, just to start your journey. So peas, radish, and broccoli. Broccoli is so amazing. Some say sunflower seed is another one to uh, start off with. It's maybe not as hard to grow, but I feel that sunflower is a little trickier in some ways. So if you're just starting off, Radish is definitely, radish is something that I promote for someone to start off with first, unless they don't like things that are kind of spicy, which I like things that are a little spicy, I would say pea, and then broccoli being the third. So be sure to try some of those out. Now, microgreen seeds, you don't need to have any special seed necessarily for microgreens because you're not eating the seed. When it comes to sprouting, you want to have seeds that are specific for sprouting because they've, been gone, they've gone through a process to really make sure that there's no E. coli and salmonella uh, traces of those kinds of bacteria within the seeds. So, but when it comes to microgreens, microgreen seeds, you can use pretty much whatever. But yes, so be sure to check out uh, some of the different seed companies that we use. I'll put those links in the description down below as well and just get going. It is a lot of fun. You're gonna have so much fun just growing some. And, and it's what's exciting about microgreens is they don't take very long to grow. Like really, within 10 days you're harvesting. From seed, from planting to harvest is 10 days. So if you've ever grown anything in a garden, you know how long it takes to be able to harvest what's in your garden. That's what's so fun with microgreens is it's really fast. And it's really fun, of course, for the youngsters because you know their attention span may be a little bit lower and they're able to see how fast these things grow within five days after they come out of germination. 
They are booming. So check those out. I'll put, uh, like I said, some links for those seed companies in the description box below, as well as the links for the plant-based bundle. Be sure to even just open up the link just to see what's in there. It is an incredible deal. I mean, nearly $9,000 worth of products for $50. This is by far the biggest bundle that we've ever been a part of, right? $50, you cannot go wrong. This is an amazing tool for those who are looking to incorporate more plant-based uh, meals into their life, or they're looking out for, for exercise programs or different yoga programs. There's full courses in there, mindset courses. I, I mean, the list is just, I haven't even actually gone through everything yet. There's so much to go through, but it is an incredible deal. So be sure to check that out. All right. Until the next one. Love you.